I live with a millennial. Pray for me. <laughs> My brother is 15 years younger than me. He moved in with me. Every day, I wish I dropped him. <laughs> Every day, he makes me feel like I'm a bad person, right? He's always checking me about things that I didn't know were now out of vogue. Another day, he walks into the living room. He has on a, a peach T-shirt. He goes, Chloe, what do you think about this shirt? Is it too feminine? I'm like, no, it's a regular peach T-shirt. He goes, trick question, gender's fluid. <laughs> Get out of my house! Social media is the automobile when everybody was still riding carriages. It's a thing that you don't want to need, but then it becomes so crucial to your survival that you have to adapt. It's frustrating. It's frustrating because as a comic, you're out every night, like literally out every night, busting your ass, pumping through these cities. I've done so many shit gigs at bars in the middle in fucking West Virginia, and you're truly busting your ass trying to develop a skill so that you can be called a comic, right? And you finally earn that title where it's like you consider yourself a comedian, your peers see you, they consider you a comedian, and then you have these people who create funny sketches about, you know, oh, here's this nigga's dick print in sweatpants. It's sweatpants season or some shit like that, which is, it's cute. So it really watered down the craft, but they want to be called comedians as well. And it's just like, well, who am I to knock somebody else's hustle? For me now, there's two things about the millennials and the new Instagram. 355,000 Instagram likes by people who will never pay a ticket to come and see you do not a comedian make, I don't feel. The millennials that's coming through now, they got entourages of 10 and 15 people. They want to get paid. They don't put no respect on your name. They treat us like you're washed the fuck up on the new shit. What we know that they don't know is that 30 years from now, you ain't gonna be able to sell out no motherfucking room 30 years from now. And 30 years from now, we still be able to do it. To me, it feels like it stems from bitterness, where they just see like a young kid with 500K followers, and they would get mad at what the IG comics did. I never did, because they are hustling. They, they doing what they do. God bless them, man. Like, if you just being true to yourself and it's genuine, people will gravitate towards you. Of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to big up my crew. Um, I roll with a really funny crew of comedians. I think we're all very talented. That would be Monroe Martin. Hadia Robinson, Yamanika Sanders. You know, we're taking a page out of like the Adam Sandler handbook of Spike Lee. It's like, we're going to do projects and work together and promote each other and share each other's content and really do what we need to do, which is have a strong core of us so that if one person blows up, you're gonna already have people that you can move into the project. You know, it's like family. You wish the best for them sometimes. There's sometimes you feel like people are hacky. Sometimes, you feel like people are joke thieves. It's very collaborative. And then at the same time, it's very lonely too. It, it, it's really about what you, how you go about it, you know? You know, you look at Ken, Harvey Wands, Robert Townsend, those guys, Eddie, those guys, they did create a lot of stuff. They sat down with each other in trailers and different places working on scripts. And I think the collaborative effort went away too because everybody wanted to be a rock star. They all wanted to be Martin. Had their own show like Martin, it's my show, you have your show. Like, you wasn't collabing, people wasn't collabing together. I remember Issa said something, Issa Ray. she said people always let it try to network up instead of networking with the people that's right next to them or working with the people that's right next to them. And you get more done that way. Instead of trying to chase this person that this, that's looked at as this, oh, this is the person that can change my life because they did all this other stuff instead of just like, so what if we, can we become those people?